five two minute rounds here. Cahill Moore in the blue corner, Will Cairns in the red corner. This one's for the Irish, English Irish bad to the bone super light heavyweight title. Seen Carl fight a few times on these uh, these bad to the bone shows. What a size advantage he's got over his opponent here tonight. How are these two the same weight? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll have a big breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly looks that way. But as you say, we've seen Cathal Moore on a couple of these bad to the bone shows. Very good technical boxer. I like the way he boxes. Will Kearns has got a lot of boxing experience. Must be all that experience he's carrying that makes him super light heavyweight, eh? He's got his resume in his pocket. <laughs> that was a, a quick um, check in from the waitress asking us if we want anything, bless her. Lovely work here from Cattle. He's swarming. I've not actually seen Cattle try and, you know, try and be the, the bigger man before. Usually he's on the outside being a technical boxer, yeah. but he, he has the opportunity here to, you know. Yeah, I think he's using his size, he's trying to impose, impose on the fight a little bit more. Yeah, you would do. It's what you'd want to see from him, for sure. Big swing from Big. Will Cairns there. Uh. Will Cairns landed a couple there, but Cattle coming back. Bit of dirty boxing here. Will covers up well, you'll notice. Cathal's ex expending a lot of energy, but not a lot is getting through. A lot on the guard. Is Cathal more, you know, you have to ask yourself, is he is he potentially pushing a bit more for the finish after his, uh, his long-time rival, Paul O'Sullivan, got that beautiful finish a couple of fights ago? I imagine we will see that trilogy at some point. He's absolutely swarming his man here in the corner. I don't think Will Cairns can take much more of this. Not everything is landing cleanly, but shots are getting through there. Yeah, it's still pressure, he's still feeling it. Yeah, everything that lands on the guard still lands to a certain degree. Especially when the guards are bare knuckle guard, it's not like you've got a glove. Lovely shot being landed. Will Cairns just overwhelmed him. Sent to the yeah, floor there. Second knee. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell, complaining about his eye, but... I think, yeah, I think we've seen, you know, we're only a lot of eye poke complaints, but I think part of it is that, you know, it's bare knuckle. That is literally bare, single knuckles going into the eye. And I think it's probably more of a, you know, a landed punch with a knuckle than, than an actual straight eye poke. Absolutely, a punch to the eyeball hurts at the end of the day, I mean. You can only complain about her eyes so much, you're in there fighting bare knuckles. So. Yeah, without the paddy glove, you're going to feel that knuckle sink right into your eyeball. Yeah, absolutely. Round two. Just some complaint here from the referee about water spillages within the ring. Just getting those dried up and back to business. Yeah, wasn't expecting a much much different approach than this. Yeah, he's looking for the finish early. Yeah, he wants him out of there. That was a to the back of the head, that shot. No, that last shot that sent him down was to the back of the head. Couple of trips to his own home corner after after he's knocked down to score from, from Cattlemore. He needs to be careful about that. Of course, needs to go to a neutral corner to score the point.
how much this can work in state, even just on a on, on a mental level, you know, yeah. going to the ground that often and getting back up. He is a durable guy. The referee's Massive. called, he's just seen enough. Nice performance from Carl Mornat. Yeah, like I say, it was nice to see a different aspect of him pouring, piling the pressure on, as opposed to playing the long game on the outside, so it's good to see a different different aspect to that game. He did what he needed to do for the opponent he had in front of him, and that's a that's a sign of a, you know, a cognitive boxer.